uh, tonight. So, but first, yeah, this, this is the project that took us to China and um, it's with a, uh, a client from Singapore. Um, as you can see, with a uh, floor area, yeah, considerable, but um, with a, um, a, um, a layout and an intention that is meant to promote public life and hopefully not be um, such a negative example as the authors of the two very interesting books are warning us against and that we should be very cautious to take wrong examples of Western architecture here. We are uh, hoping to um, make the public core of the building uh, the most important one. Now, the Horticulture Expo. Um, this is a, um, a central pavilion that is um, planned for, for the expo. Here is a diagram of how we work with our uh, esteemed colleagues who will uh, present after me. Um, so, Human Studio works with the Local Design Institute uh, of Qingdao, and then we, there are also various other consultants, like the landscape consultants and uh, the consultant for theatre from Pavilion. Something which gives you a context of Qingdao, but my colleagues will tell you more about the city. Their uh, knowledge of it is, is far more extensive than uh, mine. Um, and also the um, scheme, the um, competition uh, that the competition is based on for the whole uh, horticultural expo is uh, shown to you um, on, um, on the right um, with the pavilion at the center situated in between two lakes. Mm, the um, yeah, it's, it's, this uh, is a um, an image that was um, really is provided to make sure to uh, communicate what the, the fine work experience that is um, uh, that, that we hope to uh, to provide, and these are the programmatic components of the of the pavilion. As you can see, the, the idea is also that the pavilion, besides being uh, an infrastructural solution, also is integrated within the landscape of uh, Jingdao. Jingdao is a very different place from uh, the many of the Chinese cities that you know. It is um, more um, dedicated to leisure and to tourism, and uh, the skies are not only in uh, computer image, but uh, in reality too, in this place. You see, the, the principle of the of the pavilion is that wow. um, it's meant to uh, deal with the great volumes of visitors. Um, so uh, the infrastructure movements form the basic principle of the um, of the whole pavilion structure. And uh, the central, um, the central core is where the visitor streams meet and um, where they can be distributed, um, and um, where also there's yeah there's a central attractor for them to go to. Just some impressive images and a diagram of that principle of the pavilion. As a um, as a structure mm. generated by streams, by flows, yes, that that move out and uh, also can move in, and that also um, give direction to the different Touch. aspects of the is elf, isn't it? of the uh, expo. Once they are First one, so they a library. I've been there. Natural, um, uh, wayfinding system um, from architecture uh, as an, uh, wayfind as wayfinding is something that interests has interested us a lot, and we have worked with in uh, other projects, for instance, Arlington Central, 
where we try to build the architecture give a role in directing people rather than um, doing this through science, for instance, the confusion of science, but really use structural elements uh, to guide people around. We see the relation with the natural landscape of the uh, city. The um, um, green groups play a role and there is um, yeah. a lot of investment in uh, sustainable solutions and uh, yeah, yeah. very detailed research into um, aspects like concrete or um, uh, activation, uh, natural ventilation, the role of the sun and uh, different angles of the sun over the uh, eight months uh, duration of the pavilion. Here we can see how that would, this uh, green roof would work once they are in place. Um, this, and again, an inspirational image, but then some research on how to um, work that out, how to implement that technically, and very important, and this is something that we are currently working on a lot, what happens after Expo, and uh, this, is, this is still um, independent, because um, again, a very important feature also of a sustainable solution, of course, that a project is designed in such a way that it can accommodate different functions. This is some, a question that is very important for architecture today and something that interests us a lot. Um, I want to just leave you with these impressions and uh, now um, hand the mic to um, my colleague Jim G. And Jim G is representing Mr. Wu. Could you please, Mr. Wu, could you please show no. <laughs> Mr. Wu. Dean of the Jingdao uh, uh, Architecture Design Institute, Jim. Thank you, Karen. 